have you any time contemplated whether we're truly alone in the universe, or, then again, on the off chance that there's something else to our existence other than whatever we see? Envision a situation in which the James Webb Telescope finally exhibits that we live inside a black hole. Join us as we figure out more about this world-breaking news that will make you question all that you assumed you had some consciousness of the universe. So what, unequivocally, are black holes? They're like something out of a terrible dream. Sure, you might have seen them in sci-fi movies. Anyway, entirely more disturbing is that they're not just as demonstrated by specialists. Thoroughly, black holes in space are, in actuality, immense proportions of matter gotten into an incredibly little locale. Consider a star on various occasions more immense than the sun, all packed into a circle the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is outrageous to the point that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Specialists have been hypnotized by black holes for quite a while. From that point ahead, they considered objects in space so colossal and thick that they could trap light. The most well-known thoughts in regards to black holes were anticipated by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, at the moment that a tremendous star dies, it abandons a minute-thick core. If this core's mass is on various occasions that of the sun, gravity overwhelms everything else, provoking the improvement of a black hole. Recognizing black holes is no straightforward assignment since they emanate no light. Anyway, scientists have followed down ways to deal with interpret their presence by seeing their results for nearby matter. For example, if a black hole goes through a haze of interstellar matter, it'll pull matter towards it in a cycle called accretion. Moreover, when a normal star gets excessively near a black hole, it can get annihilated, releasing X-rays as it does so. Black holes similarly have an immense impact on their surroundings. They can consume nearby stars, produce solid gamma blasts, and even affect the advancement of new stars in certain regions while dialing back it in others. Anyway, where do black holes come from? Picture this. Stars, once brilliant and shining, meet their conclusive end in a tremendous shoot called a supernova. From the ashes of these fallen giants, black holes emerge. Most black holes are imagined from tremendous stars that have arrived at their heavenly retirement party in a supernova. However, more unassuming stars, at the point when they pass on, change into something many allude to as neutron stars, which are truly thick but not thick enough to trap light. In any case, if a star is on various occasions the mass of our sun, it falls under its own gravitational force, outlining a black hole. As these strong stars collapse, something uncommon happens near their surfaces. Time itself starts to play tricks. From the perspective of someone far away, time appears to tone down near the event horizon, the last turning point for anything falling into a black hole. It resembles the star's clock ticks at an alternate speed contrasted with our own. Now and again, when two more unobtrusive black holes collide, they solidify to outline a considerably more noteworthy and terrifying black hole. On the off chance that a black hole teams up with a neutron star, they make a beast nightmare that opposes comprehension. Analysts have been grappling with the size of these boundless idiosyncrasies for a truly prolonged stretch of time. Black holes come in two sizes huge and small. There's an insidious mystery enveloping them that we truly can't loosen up. Anyway, here's the bend. Small is relative concerning black holes. Heavenly mass black holes, extras of enormous stars, can be as tremendous as 10 to multiple times the size of the sun. There could be as much as 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That is a cosmic number of black holes that could swallow anything in their way. Anyway, stand by. There's something different. Very tremendous black holes are on the farthest edge of the reach. They're millions, if not billions, of times greater than the sun. They exist at the focal point of gigantic galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It resembles a huge dead space that is pulling everything towards it. Esteemed physicist Stephen Hawking discussed black holes all through his life. His locations were for the most part competent. However, a portion of his speculations proved unable to be confirmed in view of a shortfall of pertinent equipment. At any rate, there's hope not excessively far in the distance. A solitary logical instrument is changing all that. It goes by the name of the James Webb Space Telescope, also called JWST, and it's here to plunge into the profundities of our universe. Let me tell you, 
The JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering wonder, an exhibit of the capacity of human desire. Sure, we've shipped off other space telescopes previously, and they've been dealing with their positions okay, but this terrible kid is on a whole other level. The JWST makes the Hubble, which has faithfully served us for a seriously significant time frame, appear to be a basic piece in the universe. The retail cost of this astronomical marvel is an incredible $1 billion. Yes, you heard that right. That is a satisfactory number of zeros to make your head turn. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to rejuvenate this miracle, alongside huge commitments from over 300 colleges. But we should not fail to remember the bets that go with such a marvelous endeavor. I understand this isn't an undertaking for the faint of heart. The JWST is meandering into an unexplored world, stretching the boundaries of what we know, also taking us to places we've only yearned for. Following a fruitful send-off, NASA has as of late reported that the telescope has adequate fuel to persevere multiple times its base mission life expectancy. Since its send-off, the JWST has made various awesome achievements. It went more than one million miles to arrive at its circle around the sun, where it will reside for all time. During its excursion, the telescope really spread out its tremendous five-layer sunshield and gigantic primary mirror, the two of which must be collapsed to fit onto the send-off vehicle. Now, later, NASA has changed and adjusted behind it, and the telescope is essentially good to go into full action. Quite possibly of the most energizing thing about the James Webb Space Telescope was when NASA declared it had caught its most important pictures of starlight. The essential picture taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, bringing about a match of 18 scattered, brilliant spots from the star's light caught by the 18 mirror segments arranged on the primary mirror. NASA later conveyed one more really amazing image of HD 8446, in which 18 unfocused copies of the star were joined in a deliberate hexagonal arrangement. Once the observatory really changes the individual pieces of the primary mirror, it will start the image stacking process, inviting 18 pictures on top of one another into one clear view. Because of its refined technology, the JWST will help analysts with investigating the starting periods of the universe after the Big Bang. It will focus on what worked out after the first stars formed, a period known as the Epoch of Reionization. This time alludes to when neutral hydrogen was reionized or made to have an electric charge again by radiation from these first stars. This includes looking back billions of years, which is only conceivable with a strong telescope like the JWST. The telescope will likewise assist specialists with finding exoplanets, which are extremely difficult to perceive because of the manner in which they interact with their host stars. Major areas of strength can really see these planets in more depth, remembering for certain cases imaging their atmospheres. Figuring out the atmospheres and advancement conditions for planets could help analysts with better anticipating whether explicit planets are valid or not. Isolated from focusing on the gathering of galaxies, analysts concentrate on universes to see how matter is composed on a gigantic scale. This, thusly, permits us to see how the universe evolved. The winding and roundabout galaxies we see today developed from various shapes over billions of years. One of JWST's goals is to think back at the earliest galaxies to better figure out that evolution. Analysts are likewise endeavoring to figure out how we got the combination of worlds that are visible today and the continuous ways the galaxies structure and gather. Anyway, most basically, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us with taking note of the most critical requests of all. Are we alone in the universe? And are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has proactively been on the pursuit and think about what it found. Compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, sneaking around those huge, very colossal black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based particles with ring-like plans look like the goth of the universe. They're all over, from faraway worlds to comets in our planetary group. Now, they're not just captivating in light of the fact that they could shape blocks of life, but additionally in light of the fact that they help space experts in following star improvement. Right when bright radiation hits these PAHs, they go all giddy and emanate infrared light, a sight that can be recognized by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, also called MIRI, and that is ordinarily a sign that there are some hot, youthful stars staying nearby. Anyway, 
Sit tight for the startling development. A valiant astrophysicist, Ismael Garcia Bernard from Oxford University, decided to investigate three unique galaxies known as NGC 6502, NGC 731, the creepily notable Stefan's Quintet, and NGC 749. These frameworks are a huge number of light years away in the profundities of obscurity. Now, what Garcia Bernard found will make your hair stand on end. In those central regions where the black holes rule, he saw an abundance of PAHs. Sounds extraordinary, right? Well, here's where it gets chilling. The radiation near those exceptionally colossal black holes reshaped the Pa's genuine substance, transforming them into larger, electrically neutral forms of themselves. The more unobtrusive, electrically charged PAHs vanished into obscurity, in vision being eaten up by the actual dimness. Anyway, stand by. There's a gleam of hope. The larger PAHs sorted out some way to squeeze by since they found cover inside slim, thick gas-filled fogs. It's like they found their own cautious cover against the detestations of the black hole's anger. Now, you could inquire as to why this dim turn matters. Well, you see, it's generally an issue for space specialists who rely upon PAHs to follow star arrangement. Star framing areas will more frequently than not be totally stimulated up with electrically charged PAHs. If those molecules are destroyed near the black hole, communities following where those stars are imagined turns into a genuine challenge. Anyway, fear not. Our trying space specialists aren't pulling out. Garcia Bernard and the group are needing to jump altogether deeper into this dull, monstrous pit. They need to dissect extra unique galaxies, each with its own twist, to reveal the secrets of how these outrageous PAHs get by in such environments. They're determined to loosen up the specific properties of PAHs lurking inside the black hole attack centers of galaxies. And hey, that data is the key to sorting out star development and how these spooky galaxies create over time. Anyway, there's another discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope that takes the cake. Get ready for some spine-chilling news because the JWST has distinguished what could be the most antiquated black hole in the universe. This huge monster is an exceptionally massive black hole, weighing a pummeling 10 million times more than the sun. The JWST was able to recognize it by taking apart weak flashes of light that date back to the earliest reference point of time itself. This faint, unpropitious discovery was found at the center of a young galaxy only 570 million years after the universe was formed. And get this, cosmologists trust that there could be fundamentally prior black holes sneaking in the profundities of space. It's enrapturing but startling to think about what different detestations could be hiding out there, ready to be found. Anyway, one thing is without a doubt. The James Webb Space Telescope is giving us a brief investigate the most dark corners of the universe, and the things we're finding are totally stunning. The revelation of the most established black hole in the universe has sent shock waves through standard analysts. This huge monster could essentially be one of many black holes that existed during the grandiosity of the first light, a period that started around 100 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was just a billion years old. Cosmologists are confounded by the sheer number of these black holes and how they create to such titanic sizes. Albeit the experts who found the latest black hole distributed their disclosures on the preprint server AR-14, the examination is yet to be peer-reviewed. Lead concentrate on creator Rebecca Larson, an astrophysicist at the University of Texas at Austin, trusts that there could be a lot more black holes pausing to be found. She made sense of that the James Webb Space Telescope is permitting us to concentrate on cosmic history in a manner that was beforehand unbelievable, and she's eager to see what else we'll view as. The James Webb Space Telescope is on a mission to uncover the incomprehensible, and who can say without a doubt what other brain-bending cosmic shocks look for us in the immense field of space. The universe is loaded up with privileged insights just holding on to be unraveled. Besides, with each new disclosure, we inch nearer to opening its dim and amazing secrets. As we dig further into the universe, black holes continue to uncover the total complexities of our universe. Their formation isn't just a consequence of kicking the bucket stars. They can likewise rise out of the converging of neutron stars and other conservative objects. This exchange of divine bodies leads to critical peculiarities like gravitational waves, swells in spacetime identified by observatories like LIGO. 
These waves give bits of knowledge into the harsh processes occurring in the universe, counting the impacts that make black holes. The mission to grasp black holes likewise crosses with the hunt for dark matter, a secretive substance that makes up a critical piece of the universe's mass but remains subtle to current observational procedures. A few specialists gauge that early-stage black holes, formed soon after the Big Bang, could address dark matter. If genuine, this affiliation could offer a pathway to loosening up one of the universe's most prominent privileged insights. Other than the James Webb Space Telescope isn't restricted to inspecting black holes, it can possibly notice the climates of exoplanets in excellent detail by examining the light that channels through a planet's atmosphere as it travels before its star. Analysts can recognize synthetic marks that show the presence of water, methane, and possibly even indications of life. The JWST's infrared capacities enable it to look further back in time than any time in recent memory, catching light from the earliest worlds and stars. This capability makes a difference researchers sort out world development. Furthermore, giving a window into the circumstances that prompted the universe as far as we might be concerned today. As we proceed to stretch the boundaries of our insight, the communication between black holes and the design of the universe remains a tempting secret. Each new revelation carries us nearer to understanding the essential nature of reality, uncovering a universe that is evidently more mind-boggling and interconnected than we of all time envisioned.